Hey my lovelies, my name is Jane and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing the first impressions of the Luna Beauty Eternal Eclipse palette. Got it in the post a couple of days ago. I ordered it off of the Beauty Bay website and this is what she looks like. This package is stunning. This is all raised up, absolutely beautiful. And this is the reverse of it. And on the inside, let's see if I can do this. That is absolutely beautiful. I haven't even swatched any of these yet because I wanted to kind of do a proper first impressions today. And I thought I would swatch a few colours on camera with you. So I'm going to just pick a few mattes at random and a few of the shimmers at random. So I'm going to go in on the middle line, I think. Third one over, which is Sandstorm. And then I'm going to take the end one on the same row, which is Earthbender. And down on the bottom row, second in, which is the colour Smoke. Look at that for some swatches. That swatched really easily and I didn't dig into it. I just gave it a nice little gentle rub. And this is what we've ended up with. I'm not surprised. I've got all of Luna Beauty's other eyeshadow palettes and they are just stunning. They're some of the best eyeshadows I think I've got in my collection at the moment. So when he released this one, the minute it dropped on Beauty Bay, I had to have it. I'm now going to go and swatch a few of the shimmers. I'm going to do another three. So I'm going to go in with the first one on the top row, which is Flare. And then I'm going to go with the fourth one on the top row, which is Gold Dust. And I think I'm going to go in on the bottom row, the one right at the end, Night Sky. And that's the swatches from those three. The top one here, I don't know whether you can see it very well because it's quite close to my skin tone but um, that feels more of a satin than a glitter whereas the other two you can see are really shimmery and certainly the bottom one the night sky very glittery so looking forward to trying out some of those so the first color i'm going to go in with is summer skies it's this one here hopefully i haven't blinded you with me mirror so I'm going to take my little brush here, which is from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collection, which is the JH33. And we're going to tap into that one. Wow, I barely touched that. But Luna Beauty, like I say, that's usually how they are. This is why it's a case of when it came out, I need this one in my collection. So we're going to just start by popping that one in the crease and building it up from there. Look at that, it went on easily, straight away, wow. I would have been surprised if it hadn't. Now, as you can see, I've got hooded eyes, so I'm just going to blend that around in circles and just bring it up, otherwise we're not gonna see anything whatsoever. So just little round circles. Like I say, everybody's eye shapes are different, so you do you but this is how I like to do mine so I'm learning all the time even now you know I've been doing makeup since gosh I was about 11 years old and I'm still learning all the time I still watch a lot of YouTube videos different techniques and things a lot of them I've not been brave enough to try yet but maybe we'll do that maybe we'll do that now I've started a channel maybe we'll try some of these things that have scared the living bejesus out of me and <laughs> see what I can do with that so just gonna blend that one back up I've not dipped back into this whatsoever this is the one dip that I've done and that is blending up beautifully if you see me kind of looking up it's because I've got a big mirror right in front of me so I can kind of judge if I can actually see the eyeshadow or not so that's what um, is going on there so I'm just going to pull that up a little more doesn't need to be too much more I think I've pretty much got it where it is but as you can see like I say that is one dip I've not gone back in I tapped off all the excess and that is one dip so quite happy with that one. Just a tiny bit more here, I think. 
Just give that one a bit of a swirl, blend that one out. Let's have another look. Yeah, happy with that. Maybe just drag that down in the corner just a smidgen. Okay, now I'm going to change brushes and I'm going to go in with this little fluffy brush. This one I got from a BH Cosmetics um, like cosmetics bag. It came in a silver cosmetics bag. I can't remember the name of it. It's got no name on the brush either, but I do find that this one's quite a nice little one just to kind of buff out and put a paler colour on the um, top. So for that one, I think I'm going to go in with... Ooh, let's see. I'm going to go in with the first one on the second row, which is Dusk, I think. So we're just going to pop a bit of that on there, only a tiny bit, because you can get heavy handed very quickly. So we're just going to kind of run that across and blend that over the first colour. And as you can see, I do blend it all the way up to my eyebrow. That's the downside of a hooded eye, otherwise you're not going to see anything. But like I say, everybody's different. You do you. This is just how I've been doing mine now for a couple of years so yeah see that's blended that out really nice at the edges so really happy with that so the switch brushes again and I am going to go in with it's part of the Morphe James Charles collab and this is the Morphe M506 which is just a little tapered fluffy brush I'm going to dip back into that first colour which was the summer sky and we're just going to build up the crease colour just a tiny bit. Just darken that up just a little. Me personally, I just like to have my crease slightly bit darker. It's just the way I like it. As you can see, that's really darkened it up already. It's going to take a tiny bit more. And we're going to just bring that on the outer corner. So this eyeshadow palette is performing so well. It's really creamy, really buttery, really smooth, very easy to work with. It's absolutely stunning. So really happy with that one. So I'm just going to get a tiny bit more just to build that outer corner up just a smidgen. And just blend that one. Okay, so that's where we got it to so far. Now I'm going to take a little flat packing brush, again from the James Charles Morphe collection, and that is the M124, and we're going to pick a shimmer. That's the hard bit. There's a few really nice colours here that I wouldn't mind trying, but I think I'm going to go in with Desert Sky, which is the last one on the top row. I think that will work really well with this one. So we're just going to pop that in there that is really soft really soft so just tap it very very gently just tap that off a bit and pop that on the lid oh wow look at that straight away my brush is dry I've literally gone in with a dry brush that one doesn't need to be made wet whatsoever I will try it with my finger and see what the color payoff is with that Wow, look at that. It's so easy. Really, really easy. No effort at all to put that one on. So I'm just going to take a bit on my finger. I like to blow off the excess because I've already done my base. So if you're wondering what else I'm wearing on my face, it will all be listed in the description box below. So we're just going to pop that on and see if we can make it pop just a little more. That is beautiful absolutely beautiful i'm going to go back in with the first brush that i use and i'm just going to blend out where i darken that crease up a bit because as you can see there's quite a distinctive line so just going to kind of run that over just to blend just a smidge wow look at that that is absolutely stunning beautiful very impressed with that one so I'm just going to go off and do the other eye off camera and I will be right back. There you go, I've caught the other eye up now. So now we're just going to run a few of the colours under my lower lash line. And I am using the Morphe 410 little flat 
brush for that one. I like to use this one because I can get it right up under the lashes. So we're going to go back in with that first colour, which was Summer Sky. And I'm just going to drag that under there very gently because eye area is very, very delicate, as we know. Because it's so pigmented, you can, I barely need to touch it. Got a bit of fluff on my eyelash. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> So I'm just going to build that up just a tiny bit more in this inner corner portion. That's better. I have put on my brow bone and inner corner the first shade in this palette, which is Flare, which is this little gold shade here. And again, that's gone on really well. It looks absolutely beautiful. Nice little pop of colour without being too in your face, which is lovely. I say absolutely loving this palette. I'm just going to switch to a smaller mirror. I find out it's a bit too far away. I can't see it very well. So just going to do exactly the same on the other eye. Just gently run that across a tiny bit more. I literally just tap my brush in. Literally, did. that's all you need on it. It's tiny, 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 weeny bit. So that's that one under there. And then I'm going to get my Morphe M431, which is a little like a pencil brush that's what I was thinking of couldn't think what I was thinking then <laughs> and I'm going to go back in to the color dusk which is what I use for the top part of my eye and we're just going to run just a little bit under there just to buff that out a little so we haven't got a really harsh line there that's it what I like about this brush is it gets right where I need it to and it's really soft as well and the same on the other eye. Okay, just nice and gentle. Just going to clean up my edges of my eyes. They're a little bit messy today. So I'm just going to take a little bit of powder and clean that one up. I've got a tiny weeny little flat sponge here. And I'm going to try using the Fit Me Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 105. So I'm just going to dip my sponge in there, get a load of my sponge and just see if I can clean that corner up just a tiny bit. So I don't do this very often, so it could be a disaster. So I'm just going to literally just to cut it up there and same on the other eye. Usually when I do my makeup on a daily basis, I usually do my eyes first, but um, I'm trying something new and that's not even even, <laughs> not even close to being even. <laughs> that's what I love about makeup. It's so easy to muck it all up. It is just so much fun. I love makeup. It is just the most fun thing. Let's see if I can just bring that up in line with the other one. Wow, not brilliant, but it will do. It will do. <laughs> not the end of the world. <laughs> I'm just going to um, get a fluffy brush and just kind of buff that away on each corner there you go that doesn't look quite so messy now let's even that up a little bit so it is what it is some days it's a case of well <laughs> if it goes wrong to me that is half the fun of it it's like whatever I'm not going anywhere today not the end of the world and probably nobody would notice anyway so right top lash line I'm going to go in with because I do like to line my lash line if I don't use the black, I like to go in with a really dark brown. And um, because this palette has got a dark brown, which is this colour here, which is Earth Bender, I'm going to take that one back on my little flat brush that I used earlier and dip into that one and just line my top lashes with that one. That way I've tried quite a lot of all the different ones in here rather than using a different one. So I'm literally just going to buff that along the top line very gently it back into it I'm going to say it just about shows up over this darker colour just helps to blend my lashes in a little better so just gonna another layer across there one good thing I like about the eyeshadow is you don't have to be too precise because you can just kind of blend it out whereas I've got quite a shaky hand and I find if I'm doing liquid liner or gel liner quite often quite quickly it just ends up a mess <laughs> so I do like prefer using eyeshadow as my top liner 
dab that one across and say exactly the same as what I did on the other eye just to kind of blend that through and darken up that lash line there you go nothing too drastic but you can see it is darker than what it was which will really help with the lashes so I'm just going to pop off camera again and do my mascara and lashes and we'll be right back with my final thoughts. So we're back with the lashes, mascara and eyeliner on and this is what we've got for the finished look. The Luna Beauty Eclipse Palette formula has excelled I think some of his other ones. I think as he's gone along his formula is improving. His formula is really really good anyway like I say I love all of his palettes. But with this palette, it wasn't very, it wasn't patchy at all. Like I say, I dipped in once and it blended out like an absolute dream. So I think as he's working more and more and more, the formula is just getting better and better and better. So Manny, keep doing what you're doing because you are absolutely nailing it in my opinion. Really love the look that I came up with today. So I do think it looks absolutely lovely. I'm really looking forward to playing with it again and seeing what other looks I can come up with. But I thought I would just go for something quite simple today but these are kind of my colours anyway I recently changed my hair it was purple and I couldn't get away with all these colours so now it's really nice just to play with some sort of more neutrals and nudes and that but I do I think it looks beautiful I say went on like a dream looks absolutely lovely so well done Manny so thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and I will do a lot more reviews as we go along and some chit chat get ready with me i've got a lot of ideas so i'd be really happy if you could subscribe and also if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up it really helps me a lot so thank you very much and i will hopefully see you all on the next one